I'm Denise Blake and I'd like to thank Robert Tolan for this interview. Childhood in Inishon during the war years and the terror of that. Emigrating first to Rathmullen and then to Scotland and to England, marrying and raising a family, firstly in England and then moving home to Inishon. Loss, working in the area, and then the men's sheds. Thank you very much, Robert. So I'm uh, in Remelton. I'm in Remelton. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's uh, it? It's, yeah. Is that was a five K anyway. Yeah, you're breaking <laughs> the roots. Yeah. Yeah. So as I say, I was born in Cairndo for a place they called Cairndo. Cairndo? Yeah, Cairndo. Uh -huh. Nineteen thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. Gosh. So and um, well, I grew up there. And and it, small town land was it or just a town land, a yeah. rural place farming. Farming, yeah. Grew up in a, in a farm there, yeah. And what, had you many in the family or in 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 your original family? Don't remember much about it the war. This plenty reminds me of that, you know, the times, the war years, yeah. where everybody was frightened and afraid too at yeah. that time, just yeah. the same as now. Yeah. yeah. It was 1939, although I was young at that time, I still remember it vividly, you know, and the, during the war and the ration books and the scarcity of food and all that. that and, went and on. There was American soldiers in Derry at the time too, wasn't there? There were, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was frightening because it was it was very close to us. You could hear the planes and that, and the bombings, and the battles out of sea. Gosh, you could hear all that. You know. Yeah, yeah. So and were you frightened, was, or like had you a sense of what was happening, or? Yeah, well. If you hear planes, or you know when you're small flying over, I mean, yeah, bombs and that type of thing, it's frightening enough, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, uh, and you probably yeah. Have a sense from from your parents and that too that there was something. Strange. Yeah, well, it was it was all the time talked about, you know, yeah. every day. Yeah. You know, how, how it was going, and they probably thought that the the Germans would invade Ireland that time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But then that's another story, of course. Yeah. Well, but, no, it's, it's, you know, it's part of your story. It's part of the country's story. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 So I went to school there in Cairn. And after that, I went to the tech. It used to be in the Colgan Hall there. Uh, yeah. And had you, had you a trade? Yeah. Yeah, I went on to do joiner or carpenter joiner. Yeah, I started with a man here. It's that was shortly after the war. There were no furniture like now. All yeah. the furniture was homemade, and that's started making that with a boy here employed. I got ten shillings a week. Gosh. At that time, and, and yeah. they would have been beautifully yeah. made too. They would have been beautifully made, I'm sure. You know, yeah, the well, you know. uh, it was, it served the purpose, yeah. It was yeah, good at that time, yeah, yeah. Did you like it or or? Oh yeah, I, I always had a interest in wood and yeah. Garden the farming and didn't call you at all. The farming um, didn't call, farming didn't call you at all. No, well, when you're reared in a farm, you done your bit. Yeah. You know, gather yeah. spuds and all this type of thing. When you come home from school, you had to do the work. Yeah, yeah. All that type of thing. And the early morning too, I'd say. In the mornings and then you went to the bog, as they say, for the turf. And, 
yeah. done your bit there as well. Yeah. So even when you're working, you still up to till I was about eighteen or nineteen when I left home. I went well. I, I went to Rathmullen, Board of Works, got a job there with the Board of Works. Rathmullen. Oh. Mm, you know, it's just there. The time they built the pier there, Rathmullen. Oh, gosh. That was yeah. 1952 yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Mm. And and so it must have been a much smaller pier than the original Rathmullen pier. I never, I never even Oh, it was just, that, an, no. just an old stone pier. Well, they were a wooden structure, but it was rotten and washed away at that time, you know. So that. Been three or four years there. Yeah. How did how did, would you have gone from Carndonna to Rathmullen? Like were you driving or or what? Oh no, driving. There were no cars then. No. You're lucky. You're lucky. No. I had a bicycle. <laughs> yeah. bicycle. Did you? Yeah. You cycled but to Rathmullen. No, no, you the crowd they called Brown. They had run a boat across there from Fawn to Rathmullen. Oh, you, there, that was very basic. You, you go to the bus to Fawn and you go down to the, on a jetty there and yeah. you, you mm -hmm. waved across the ranch and they would see you. And they'd <laughs> come and pick you up and take you over for maybe two and six months or half a crown, what they call them. Yeah, so that, was the, that was the transport, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there were no, there were no phones, no phones. No, okay. no, no, yeah. no. So was, Do you remember uh, the first phone that you had? The first phone? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, when we come back from England, we were the first house around here to had a phone because uh, my wife, Teresa, she was nursing. And she was on the ambulance, so you oh. had to had to have a phone. So they've been on the phone first. So I helped the neighbours too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the phone, by, the money left by the phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were you in England long? Was, I was there. I don't know, about eighteen years. Oh, gosh. England. Gosh. Yeah. Well, we'll come back in 72. Did you? So yeah. you left? Did you leave from Rathmullen to England, or or how did I went you? Went from Rathmullen. Or went to Glasgow first. Glasgow first, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a big change from here, you know, Rathmullen. Yeah. Were you sorry to go, or were you glad to go, or? I was glad when I was young. You're glad that you're. And she's get away. Everybody else was going. Yeah. So that was the way it was. Yeah. And you just went. And, well, there, when in Glasgow, the Paul Donny Gall was in Glasgow. Yeah. At that time, you know. Yeah. You know, just like home. I always knew there was a big Ross's connection. I didn't realize there was such a big Injone connection in Glasgow as well. Uh, there would be a, yeah. be a good few, but. Then from that to move to England, I think maybe the. When did you meet your I, wife? Oh, well, uh, funny, I met her back here in holiday times. Oh. Hello, she's, she's from Malin. Uh, well, the, when I was back in holidays, I used to meet up. Well, I knew her for some time, you know. Yeah. 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 So, so it was, yeah. Oh. So so you so sorry sorry I interrupted you so did you move with your wife to London or had you moved beforehand or yeah we we, we were in uh, but she was nursing and uh, she trained in Burnley and then she moved to Edinburgh and then I was around working around the Midlands and Oxford and around there so she moved down there then. Before we got married, okay. Okay. Time we so we got married then, and we settled in Coventry then for about 
five years. Not technically. And were you yeah. building in England or? Yeah, I kept joining, carbon joining, with houses mostly. Yeah, that type of thing. So, yeah. But uh, the young, when our young days and things were a bit tough, they weren't. Well, there are plenty of food on the farm. That's the only thing, you know. Mm. Mm. And uh, my mother, she used to, we were laughing here, she, she used to sew shirts for the factory. She would come and take home a bundle of shirts and sew them up. And then uh, and just, we'd, uh, mate, I was telling them one time, she was, uh, went down for shirts. She was, Sewing and we're done for shirts. And when she arrived in, in the yarn, she had still had a pun in her mouth. Yeah, yeah, she was she, she was good crack. She was she loved the dancing when she was young, you know. You used to tell, yeah, that time they used to get. Flour, maybe a ten stone bag of flour for the family. That and the the bags are coming then. Uh -huh. They use them, and the she was telling that no, they're printed on them. And says they go to the dancers and they'll be swinging around. And some of the dress would play up, and they made knickers out of them. <laughs> out of the flour bags, and mother's pride to be brought across the. <laughs> <laughs> the backs, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, but yeah, that's the way it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and was your wife nursing in London? Uh, she's nursing in uh, Oxford. Oxford. Yeah. Uh, for my dad, she was. She went to Edinburgh from when she trained. And she worked there for a while, a few years. And she went to Oxford. And then she worked for a while. She didn't work long in Coventry. Uh, she started family then. Yeah, so four, two, four, five, when the fifth child come along, we thought it was time to move. Him to move. <laughs> yeah, so we'll come back here then. Yeah. yeah. Were you sorry to leave or glad to leave her? Pardon? Were you sorry to leave or how did you feel? No, no, no. Sort of, you liked England while you're there, but once you got out of it, you would never, you would never go back. You know that type of. Yeah. Way. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we then we come back and built this house here. I worked mainly in dairy through the the bad times. You were you would go through maybe three checkpoints before you got to work. Yeah. 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 You didn't know where a bomb was going to. And, and there must have been that gradual thing of it getting worse and worse. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, yeah. At the start it wasn't so bad. No. You know, but then yeah. that got Fairly bad, all right. At times, uh, yeah. Yeah. and would and like, would you have been worried, or did you just get on with it, or how did you feel? I have been worried enough sometimes. Uh, if you're maybe a, a bomb scare and you're stuck in a lane in traffic mm -hmm. and you couldn't get out of it, you don't know where the bomb was going to be. You know, so you'd be worried. Yeah. You you couldn't move. That sort of thing. So then maybe if you took a side road, maybe you're going the wrong way, you're going into the, the bomb or, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, then uh, settle down then was great. Uh, well, when I come from uh, back here, I worked in dairy most of the time. Uh, and with the building as well? At the buildings, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, 
and and so the five so the five children then are they all living nearby or where are they now or uh, no, there were another four after that oh with nine, with nine <laughs> all together then yeah oh, wow. <laughs> yeah yeah uh, yeah filled the house well <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's right uh, so uh, with a son killed too in a car accident, uh, so that's nearly nearly 25 years ago now. Yeah, he was 22, Jared. Yeah. Tough, tough. Uh, it was a big, it was a big. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, what year like, was that? Uh, I just 1996. Yeah. He was 22. Yeah. Yeah. But apart from that, yeah. That'd be enough. Yeah. So. That's anything else? Penance. Anything okay. else you would like to know well, more? Annette mentioned that you, you're involved in the men's sheds. Oh, I, uh, yeah. Well, uh, I've done a lot of work on it. I, but I wouldn't be a, an organizer. It was Junior Philip Dorte, he started up. And we'd, we'd done a lot of work getting the place ready. Mm -hmm. We're lucky the old co op and that. In Carndona? In Carndona, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they rented that part of that to us for a nominal fee. So we done that. And then in the early years of the shed, we raised funds and we made a lot of toys and Oh, all yeah. kinds of things that, that, are, that are kind of during the crash, the bank crash, you know, there weren't as much money about and people went for these things, yeah. cheap toys and school yeah. desks and all, all kinds of anything. Were there many of you involved? Oh, at the start, when there were no work, we had a lot of yeah. young men. And it, you know, it used to be crowded. Where but, did, uh, where did then the as the work got better, the young. Where did the idea of when you broke in, breaking up? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you're breaking. Well, up. it's come, yeah, it's come from Australia to start with, but I'd know there are a few in this country too. I'd know where Junior, as we call him, Junior. Got the idea, but he he was the main man to start it up, and he was the driving force behind it. Yeah, I remember you come with an old trap. If you know what a trap was, a pony and trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A car. Yeah. I was all there were just bits of it left, so we, we took that on and we sold it and oh, lovely. made it. A uh, nice job, made a nice job. We built a cura as well. Gosh. As well as that. And, uh, we're all the time. But then it's kind of dwindled away now. There weren't very many of us on it. They end up there. Yeah. Yeah, but it was great past time. It was great, was great at the time for men that out of work, you know, yeah. that kept them sane, as they say. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, the motivation and people to talk to and everything. Well, that was it. It didn't, didn't matter whether you done anything or not. You go in there and meet the people and have a cup of tea and, yeah. you know, a chat and that type of thing. Some people done better work and some watched on. And yeah. yeah. You, you know, Give smart remarks and all this <laughs> banter going on. Yeah. 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 That's the way it was. Uh, it was kept them going. The early stages. Uh, yeah. So that's it. And I, would, I would imagine, like, nothing heals, but I would imagine it was helpful after your son than that. It would have been. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I have some place to go now. Yeah. Get you. Yeah. Kept me going. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah.
Yeah. But and now the, this year, the, now there's there are no meters closed down for the now with the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. As I say, the pandemic is kind of reminds me of the war years. You know, the only thing you know, there are plenty of food now, but well, but people's isolated. Mm. Or it, thing, I thought even that thing, especially last year, when we were sitting waiting for for the government to make an announcement, you know, I, I imagined it must have been like sitting around the radio waiting to hear what was happening nearly. Yes, oh yeah, yeah. Well, there, there were one radio in our district. Gosh. And, but I, I was young, but all the men would gather on there at night. To listen to us, what was going on in the war. Yeah. Then we go in and it wouldn't be going, no, an old radio in them times, it was breaking down. And and then, would any of what anyone have joined the army from in a show or? I'm sure there were. I will. When I was, there used to be a man next door to us, he was in the army. Every time he was home, he used to. Visit us, you know. Yeah. He was telling the stories about the horror of the war, you know, he was out in the front. It was terrible. Uh, yeah. yeah. The red had gone back again, you know. But he, he survived it anyway, but he ended up in a home or somewhere, you know. Yeah. After yeah. the war, but the stress and that type of thing, you know. Uh, I'm sure there were plenty more around the same, you know. We knew him very well, you know. Yeah. And there wouldn't have been anyone, doctors or anything, to help people like that. You know, you just had to get on with it. You had to get on with it, yeah. 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 But, uh, I don't know. There were one doctor and any show. <laughs> you might say that was about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that was the thing about it. Yeah. My father would say that he remembers after the war, he lived in Cork, but he yeah. remembers the first time he saw bananas in the shop. Uh, and, you know, yeah, after, yeah. The, after the war. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything. The, uh, there were Russian books, books during the war, you know, mm -hmm. coupons, yeah. and you were allowed tea, maybe you could half an ounce of tea for the, each person for another week or a month or whatever it was. Yeah. But they're the same, everything was, you, there was no such thing as buying a pound of butter. No. You got a, got a slice of, of it. <laughs> you went to the shop, depending on the money in the family. Yeah, or how many cookings you had. And clothes was the same. Coupons for the clothes that that carried on long after the war too. You know. And do you yeah. think it affected people like saving money and saving and things? Would that have well impacted on them? Or I suppose in my young days there was there was no money. Mm. You might say, you yeah. know, yeah, very very lot of people in the farm that just grew everything in the living off the land, let's say less or more. Yeah. And they exchanged with their neighbor, you know, help one or the other. Yeah. That time away. Yeah. Very little money, yeah. 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 Uh, I remember my brothers, uh, they, the older ones, they went to the, they were working in the north and the six counties, as I said, then. Yeah. With, the Yanks and that they're building airports and that for the army. For the army. They went to work there. One of them, they come home. They stayed there at that time. They were no, you wouldn't be traveling any distance. They're only transport. So one of them come home and they had 20 pounds. Oh. Saved up. Gosh. And my father wanted to know how he got it or did he get it honest? <laughs> Never seen twenty pound in That's his life. Imagine, yeah. imagine. Yeah. Uh, well, they've got the so the cigarettes and stuff like that from the soldiers as well, or 
suppose the what were the Yanks anyway? Yeah, yeah there'd be plenty of cigarettes and stuff. Yeah. And another thing with nylon stockings. Yeah. That's a big, big thing. Like yeah, for the, the <laughs> ladies. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. They were very, very strict on the border there at that time. You know, they're, the customs there, you couldn't buy anything in the area if you're, say, if you had butter or tea or anything. They just took it off you at the border. Did they? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Like I've I've heard stories of children having to wear clothes over clothes trying to. Uh, I well, we clothes. all done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah a couple of coats or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But they were nearly to come off you yeah. <laughs> the border with that strict. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah. But then later years ago. They used to come, the dairy crowd, they would come out with bus loads, tourists, right? and they're all the time looking for country butter, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I, talking to the other, the man, Karen, uh, but a character too, but he got a lot of mashed potatoes and cut them out in squares and pass them up for <laughs> country butter. <laughs> They sold it, sold it to the, the ladies there. I say they give them a bad at doing the next time they come back. You know? Yeah. And, uh, uh, there are all kinds of tricks going on too. Because it is, Inishona is very much connected to the Northern Ireland, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was her man. Shopping place. Yeah. There is. There is. Yeah. They they depended a lot on, you know, the shops now. Yeah. So they Yeah. So. And and how are you finding the last year? Well. Um, not too bad. We'll break the rules or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, sort of get out every day for a walk on the beach, maybe something anyway, somewhere. Yeah. For an hour or two, it breaks up the day. Yeah. yeah. All right, so far anyway. Have you many grandchildren that live locally or? Well, grand, uh, with uh, two boys and players lives up. We just went up the road there, and two boys left beside us here. Oh. We have few, yeah, we have 20, 26 grandchildren. All together? Oh. They're all together. Uh, three, three or four girls down the country, down yeah. Dublin, Longford, and Galway. Yeah. So that, yeah. Did any emigrate at all? Or, uh, did any of your family emigrate? Uh, not for long. Some of them, Braden and Braden, Mickey, they went to London when they were, after they got married. They were teaching. But it was, didn't stay too long. Didn't stay too long, yeah. No, no. Teaching was hard there, right? It's hard enough here now, but it was worse there. Yeah, yeah. That time, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. Yeah. As you say, yeah. it's like um, my my father's father. He he died before he, my father was born, but he oh. died TB, TB was the oh, thing. Yeah. Too, was the was the big? Yeah, that was a big thing. I had a sister who had TB. She spent a great number of years and couple of years in Kelly Bags and then she went to Dublin, Pima. Oh. Must have spent two or three years there. She had a family here. Oh. Young kids here. It was tough, uh, tough I mean, the man. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So, no, there were no cure. There was, that was the only cure. They just, I don't know, they didn't seem to have a proper cure for it. No, no. 
Yeah. 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 Because I think it's it's strange the way it's COVID uh, now and the way it was TB at the start. Yeah, uh, well, that's, that's, there's always something. Isn't there? Well, it's come, yeah. 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 So I'm the last of nine myself. Are yes. You? Yes. So <clears throat> all gone. Yeah. Mm. That must be strange too, too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Well, we enjoyed life. Yeah. When we're going. Yeah. And and they were were they all local as well? Pardon? They were all local to you. Uh, well, there's some of uh, a brother in America, and they, they all spent their time in, the, in England or Scotland, Scotland, and talking about the war years, uh, I remember three of my sisters left in the, the one day to go to Glasgow to work. Yeah, and I was thinking uh, it must have been hard on the, the mother and them. Must have been. Must yeah. Have been. And then they were there. Yeah. That was just before the war. Yeah. And then they couldn't get home to after the war. Gosh. Yeah. <clears throat> One of them worked in a ammunition, ammunition factory. Gosh. Other than when the buses used to be, uh, used to be telling the, dark, the blackouts that time in Glasgow. Yeah. All the cities. Yeah. And there shouldn't be in the bus. You know, a, a girl in the bus, she was young, that's a young girl, in the bus, and all these men, see, see, see them, the ticket machine. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you don't sit down, I'll give you a rap with us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. And then, as you say, no phone to phone home? No, there are no phones. You get that letter, and even the letters were censored. Gosh. If you if they said anything at all, anyway, about the war or about anything at all, it was cut out. I didn't realize. I th I thought like just if you were in the army, they would censor. I didn't realize civilians oh, yeah. had that happen. Uh, 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 private letters. Yeah. They're all they were a stamp across the envelope, censored. Gosh. Yeah. 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 And then you'd be praying that a telegram wouldn't come. Uh, You'd be praying that a telegram uh, wouldn't. Uh, yeah, well, that's it. I or people lived across the road here from us. They were in Glasgow at the same time, and their house was bombed, and some of them killed at that time. Oh. Yeah, 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 and, uh, yeah. It's a worrying time too. But then, well, it's been hugely. Yeah. yeah. When they come back then, there used to be great parties then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. 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 And the dances and the whole... The dancing. Yeah. Don't the house parties and dances and none of that now. Yeah. And when they came home, did they stay home then or did they go back or...? Uh, well, some of them stayed and some of them yeah. went back again. Short time. The most of them come back at the end up, you know. Yeah. 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 And it was like the the as I say, there was no Zoom or phone calls or anything else. You no, not in that time. No, nothing. No. No. So yeah. So uh, Glasgow's a great place for dancers when I was there, anyway. I, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. You could. Yeah. You could dance every night in the week. And the, Scottish, and the Scottish liked the Irish, you know. Uh, well, the Scottish, Glasgow is different, you know. They're, well, they're, you're all right to on your own community, but mm. outside that, they didn't have much time for you, you know. Did they not? No. Uh, yeah. But outside the north of Scotland or the real Scottish people, they're, they're very much, much like ourselves. Mm. Yeah, we used to, my brother used to do work for the forest there up in the north of Scotland, do fencing, deer fencing, you know, when they'd be planting trees, 
the fence around it first, big high fences. And well, I, when I was working in Glasgow, England, they would do that for maybe three months in the summer. And I would join them then, you know, to get away, yeah. different, something different from, from the Highlands of Scotland. Absolutely. Yeah, but yeah. they were very friendly and very much like ourselves, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. No, that's we got around a bit too. Yeah. You did, you really did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You think of it, you know. Yeah. Uh, compared to now the the travel yeah. thing, not in traveling to Australia and things, but to us England or Scotland was a long way off. Yeah. Born, they're flying over and back every week now to but, work. And it was a long way off. It was a long way off. Yeah. You wouldn't think no. you you get home once or maybe some if you're lucky twice in the year. Yeah. For a couple of weeks. That was, that. Yeah. 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 No, no, no fortune to be made either. No. No. People think if you're in England or Scotland, you're making a fortune, but there are no times who work was good to. But most of the time it was just very ordinary, you know. Yeah. Mm. Kept it going. Yeah. 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 That's it. So. so you're getting through this time okay? Ah, uh, we got our first vaccination there. Oh, great. Last week or so ago, so we get another bite. They're very slow in doing it, I don't know. Yeah. 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 And whether they're not getting supplies or what, I don't know the story. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah. Robert, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. 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 Very much. It's, well, it's, I hope you got something out of oh, it. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. And even, and you know, it's funny because there's been a few conversations, but the, you know, we've, each is different. Yeah, yeah. So, and I've yeah. never considered the war, the war years, how much it, you know, especially within a shown, very much so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's, the two wars, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll leave it to you to sort it out somewhere. Yeah. Or other. <laughs> thank you very, I, very much. Uh, you're welcome. And tell uh, Claire, thank you very much for setting uh,